Good morning. I'd like to talk about why I do videos. I do videos to try to help others to plant a good seed and whether or not the person who watches them rejects the seed or not, uh, I'm still, the intent of trying to help others is still there. It's not all for naught. So I, I do what I can, when I can, and again, if someone chooses not to, not to um, listen to someone who is trying to speak truth, Jesus Christ is truth. So when I'm speaking truth, I'm speaking of the Lord Jesus Christ. That if you reject truth, who are you rejecting? Jesus Christ. So again, I'm not a teacher. I'm not a teacher. I'm not a disciple. I'm not a prophet. I'm not an apostle. I'm just a person who, who is so grateful and appreciate that the Lord Jesus Christ plucked me out of the world and I follow him whithersoever he goeth. And when I notice things, I like to share my testimony, my perspective, and that's all, that's all I can do is just share my testimony. That's why we're given our testimonies to share it. So let me read something on my computer here for a second. It says, thou shalt not bear false witness, which means it forbids one speaking falsely in any manner lying, equivocating, and any way devising and designing to deceive our neighbor. So, something that I've been noticing is there's a lot of misinformation out there <clears throat> coming from those who call themselves followers of the Lord Jesus Christ, Christians. And you know them by their fruits. So if they're following the world, meaning if someone's following suit with what everyone else is doing, such as sharing information that they've read on Facebook, that's what everyone does who has Facebook is they go on Facebook, they read something, and they share it regardless of the legitimacy of the information. So I reached out to a brother the other day who posted a video that somebody else made that I believe had false information in it, that it, there was no truth in it, at least not from my area in Western Massachusetts. So I reached out to him. I, I reached out to him in a comment with love. And I said that I believe that he needs to repent from sharing the video that had false information in it. Now, repentance means you just don't do it anymore. You're sorry that you did something that the Lord Jesus Christ may frown upon such as sharing lies because that's that's helping the enemy that's helping Satan sharing lies so if you don't I basically explained to him that unless it's first-hand information first-hand means you have seen it with your own eyes or experienced it, such as, uh, example, if you're out and you were pulled over by a police officer and they gave you a verbal warning to say if you were out again, you would get a thousand dollar fine. That's firsthand information. But if you're sharing something you've heard on Facebook, 
where did that information come from? Oh, well, I have a friend on Facebook. Well, not all your friends on Facebook gets their information firsthand either. Did they get it from somebody else on their friends list who got it from somebody else on their friends list who got it from somebody else on their friends list? So it's like misinformation that spreads like fire. So I just recommended that look, again, unless you experience something firsthand that somebody knocked on your door, National Guard knocked on your door, or you went to a store to buy seeds and you couldn't buy seeds, which by the way, in my area, you can still buy seeds. You can still be out. The borders aren't closed. I haven't been pulled over. In fact, there is a police officer who is more often than not in the middle of my town parked and sees me go by several times a day because I walk dogs. Not once have I been pulled over for being out. So, and by the way, borders haven't been closed because I walk dogs over on the other side of the town that I live in and I saw Florida plates. So they came up from the state of Florida and they're in Massachusetts. So that's another firsthand they didn't close the borders of Florida and Massachusetts. They'd have to go through several borders <laughs> on the East Coast. So, so I reached out and again, I'm not trying to tell people what to do and I'm not holier than thou and I'm not trying to point out errors on people just to for the sake of doing so i do it because i'm looking out for you because i love you i'm just looking out for people you'd rather be safe than sorry right when it comes to our father i'm going to give you a piece of my own testimony really quick before i end this video Years ago, about five years ago, I was on Facebook and I was meeting up with two of my classmates. And I've known them one since grade school, the other one since junior high, and we were meeting up. Now on the Facebook, one of them would post things, pictures of her and her husband, and it looked like they had such a beautiful, healthy relationship that she was posting on there, and it just seemed like they were a couple of newlyweds. So when I met them for lunch at her house, it was a completely different story. It almost sounded like they were on the crisis of nearly getting a divorce that it wasn't as happy as she was representing on Facebook. So that testimony right there, that example shows to you that just because you see and hear something on Facebook doesn't make it so. So if somebody's that good about falsifying things that are happening in their personal life, how easy, it, easy would it be for them to falsify things about such as spreading misinformation that they heard from somebody that heard it from somebody that heard it from someone. And we are to come out of the world. We're not to bear false witness and be part of the world. So again, be careful, be cautious, have a healthy fear. Everything that you have not repented from, such as possibly bearing false witness, you're accountable for. That's why it's important to be careful and to not assume I only need to repent from these certain things and, and then lean on your own understanding and say, well, I don't have to repent for doing any of this stuff, which it's not up to you or, or myself. It's up to the Lord Jesus Christ, what he requires of us and what he wants us to repent from. That's why you ask him 
Could you please search out my heart? And if there's anything that I need to change, address in my life, please make it known. And more likely than not, he's going to tell you to come away from the world. That one foot that you have in the world by spreading misinformation to th thinking that you're helping people and keeping them informed when they're being misinformed. You're misleading his flock. I'm sure that there is You know, maybe, a, you know, there is something wrong with that. I don't want to speak for the Lord Jesus Christ. I would never. Again, I just plant seeds and tell people to be careful. That it's better to, in Proverbs, there's many different scriptures that say it's better to just say nothing at all. A wise man keeps his mouth shut. If you have to vent and want to talk about anything, go directly to the Lord Jesus Christ. If you don't put it out there in a video and put it out there for others and just vent to him, he understands your mind and heart. But putting stuff out there is carnal things and we're supposed to be coming away from carnal things, denying the flesh. That's denying the flesh is also not chasing after your opinions. And there is a, a an expression that says, when somebody's full of themselves, oh, you're so full of yourself. If you're so full of yourself, how is the Lord Jesus Christ going to fill your cup? He's not going to put new wine in with old wineskins. You have to empty your cup. Stop being so full of yourself and think that you, you know what you're doing. Let the Lord Jesus Christ lead the way. Empty your cup and fill your cup with truth not lies. I love you and God bless.